Introducing Components, a new game-changing feature from your friends at Convex. Convex components are drop-in modules that act like services, but execute within the same transactional context as the caller. Crucially, while components run inside your Convex project, they only have direct access to their own isolated set of tables, functions, and file storage. This means that components cannot read or write from your database directly or from other components' databases without you explicitly wiring up the connection to do so. You can think of these like talking to a third-party service, but where you don't need to reason about data staleness or inconsistency, as life should be as a Convex developer. Components are built on top of Convex, which allows us to move faster and add new features without changing the core of the platform. It's consistency on every level. At launch, we're offering the following drop-in components with many more to come. LaunchDarkly feature flags, crons, workflow, aggregates, geospatial indexing so that you can build apps like Google Maps, ultra-high performance sharded counter, migrations to support evolving schemas, Expo push notifications, Twilio SMS, an action retrier for additional peace of mind, an action cache for even faster response times on actions that don't have underlying data changes, and a drop-in rate limiter. Let's walk through an example to see just how easy it is to integrate components into your Convex app. Here, we have a basic Convex chat app. Anybody can send as many messages as they want, perhaps an undesirable characteristic of a chat application when left unbounded. So let's drop in the rate limiter component. First, install the component from NPM. Second, create a new file called convex.config.ts. This is what enables the use of components in your application. At this point, if you go to your dashboard, you'll see a new dropdown that allows you to access the component's isolated tables, functions, and more. Third, we'll define our rate limits in a new file called ratelimiter.ts. Keeping this in its own file is simply to maintain a clean code structure. We'll apply the rate limits to the send mutation and return a contextual error to the client if required. Fifth, there is no fifth. As you can see, with components, we can trivially integrate otherwise complex functionality into our applications in a matter of minutes. And it gets better. Components are all open source. The Convex team will continue to release new components, but will also be shipping the API that will allow anybody to write their own components, either for their own use or for publishing them in the components directory for everybody to use. Happy coding!